Hello today's video we have the following content. Who is the ultimate opponent that Bruce Lee fears? Martial arts, as an important part of the long-standing culture of the Chinese nation, has bred countless masters since ancient times. Among these martial arts masters, Bruce Lee is undoubtedly one of the most famous and legendary representatives. He not only reached the pinnacle of boxing skills, but also opened a new era for the development of modern martial arts with his innovative Jeet Kune Do system. The rich legacy he left behind has also become the supreme model for future martial artists to learn. Bruce Lee was born in California, USA in the 1940s, but he was deeply rooted in the fertile soil of Chinese culture since he was a child. His father, Lee Haekwin, was a famous Cantonese opera actor in Guangdong. He fled to Hong Kong with his family to escape the war long before Bruce Lee was born. It was this special growth experience that made Bruce Lee maintain a strong sense of identity with Chinese martial arts and culture. He once admitted that when asked where he came from, he was always proud of Hong Kong, China. The influence of blood ties can be said to be far-reaching. Bruce Lee's grandfather, Lee Sun Bao, was a very good martial artist. He worked as a bodyguard in Foshan. He was skilled in martial arts and had high moral character. Although he did not let his son Lee Haekwin inherit his mantle in that turbulent era, it was unexpected that Bruce Lee truly inherited his grandfather's martial arts gene and had profound attainments in this area. Bruce Lee, who was influenced by martial arts since childhood, worshipped Wing Chun master Ip Man as his teacher at the age of 13 and began to systematically learn Chinese martial arts. Ip Man not only taught solid boxing skills, but also subtly influenced Bruce Lee's philosophy of life. This practical-oriented teaching method allowed Bruce Lee to constantly improve himself and show his prowess in various martial arts competitions in the future. It is worth mentioning that Bruce Lee's martial arts talent was not entirely derived from family inheritance and good teacher guidance. He himself was also a representative of hard work. According to records, Bruce Lee's room was full of various boxing theory books, and his annotations were densely made on them. He also collected all the videos of boxing champion Ali, watching and learning over and over again, hoping to match him. It can be said that it was with this attitude of hard work that Bruce Lee eventually became a well-deserved martial arts master. At the age of 17, Bruce Lee single-handedly relieved the Chinese by defeating Charlie Owen, the British boxing champion at the time. After that, he defeated various powerful enemies one after another, including famous players such as judo champion Kimura Masahiko, and finally became a well-deserved boxing champion. These brilliant achievements not only reflect Bruce Lee's strong personal strength, but also to a certain extent make up for the inferiority complex of Chinese people in the field of martial arts at that time. But Bruce Lee is far from being a simple fighting star, he is also a visionary martial arts master. He integrated Wing Chun, boxing, fencing and other martial arts to create a unique Jeet Kune Do system. This martial arts thought would let nature take its course as the core, advocating flexibility and innovation, has become an important milestone in the development of modern martial arts. Bruce Lee's martial arts concepts can be said to be a concentrated embodiment of the essence of Chinese martial arts. He advocates that martial arts is not a simple fighting skill, but also a kind of spiritual practice. He once said, the highest realm of martial arts practice is to achieve the flexibility of water, because water is free and represents infinite flexibility. It is transparent and visible, but sometimes it can block the view. This philosophy of the way of water has undoubtedly elevated traditional Chinese martial arts to a whole new level. Although Bruce Lee died young at the age of 48, his spirit will always remain. According to his wife's recollection, she once asked her husband what opponent he was most afraid of. Bruce Lee was not afraid of those masters who mastered thousands of unique skills, but was worried about encountering opponents who practiced a move 10,000 times. This persistence in martial arts and the spirit of pursuing excellence are undoubtedly the most precious legacy of the legendary figure Bruce Lee. When later generations evaluate Bruce Lee, they often pay more attention to his promotion and influence on Chinese martial arts around the world. Under his leadership, Chinese Kung Fu movies became popular all over the world, and the audience began to re-recognize this oriental martial arts treasure. Countless film and television stars, such as Jackie Chan and Jet Li, have publicly stated that Bruce Lee is their idol and role model. It can be said that Bruce Lee is not only a martial arts master, but also an important spokesperson and flag bearer of Chinese martial arts. In general, Bruce Lee's life is undoubtedly a wonderful martial arts legend. Not only did he reach the pinnacle of personal strength, but he also had unique insights into martial arts concepts, opening up a new path for the development of modern martial arts. Although he died young, 
He left behind precious spiritual wealth and became a model for martial artists in later generations to learn from. It can be said that Bruce Lee is not only a shining star in the history of martial arts, but also a cultural symbol that the entire Chinese nation is proud of. Next news. How did Bruce Lee's wife and children live after his death? His son died young, his wife remarried twice, and his daughter inherited his legacy. 1. The Sudden Death of a Superstar On July 20, 1973, the sudden death of Bruce Lee, an international kung fu movie superstar, shocked the world. This martial artist and filmmaker who shocked the world with the word kung fu died at the age of 32 forever. Regarding the cause of his death, although after multiple investigations, the court finally ruled that he died of an unnatural death, but this vague conclusion did not quell the speculation and discussion from the outside world. In order to protect his image and privacy, Bruce Lee's family decided to announce that he was sent to the hospital after he suddenly fell into a coma at home, but the truth could not be covered up. With the in-depth digging of the media, the fact that Bruce Lee fell into a coma at the residence of actress Ding Pei and was sent to the hospital was exposed. This incident not only put Ding Pei under great pressure from public opinion, but also plunged Bruce Lee's family into endless grief. Bruce Lee's funeral was held in Hong Kong and Seattle respectively, attracting thousands of fans to mourn. His death is not only the fall of a superstar, but also a great loss to the martial arts and film industries. However, Bruce Lee's spirit and influence have not disappeared, but have become more profound with the passage of time. 2. The Short Life of the Rebellious Teenager Brand Entley Bruce Lee's son Brandon Lee has lived under the aura of his father since he was a child. He inherited his father's martial arts talent and rebellious character, and has been passionate about martial arts since he was a child. However, unlike his father, Brandon Lee's growth path is full of challenges and ups and downs. At school, he was expelled from school many times because he was not adapted to the environment and resisted stereotype education. Despite this, he never gave up his pursuit of martial arts. After his father passed away, he regarded martial arts as a spiritual sustenance, worked hard to train, and longed to be like his father. However, fate did not seem to favor this young martial artist. In 1993, while filming the movie The Crow, Brandon Lee was unfortunately shot and killed at the age of 28. This tragedy once again plunged the Bruce Lee family into deep grief. 3. Shannon Lee, Inheritance and Challenges Coexist Unlike her brother, Bruce Lee's daughter Shannon Lee was only four years old when her father passed away, and her memory of her father was relatively vague. But as she grew older, she gradually realized the responsibilities and missions she carried. After her brother Brandon Lee passed away, she became the spiritual pillar and spokesperson of the Bruce Lee family. Sean Lee has been interested in performing arts since she was a child and aspired to become an actor. However, as Bruce Lee's daughter, she inevitably faced doubts about her identity and ability from the outside world. In order to prove herself, she not only worked hard to learn acting skills, but also began to contact and learn martial arts. After seven years of hard training, she finally became an extraordinary kung fu actor. While achieving certain achievements in her acting career, Shannon Lee also actively devoted herself to the inheritance and development of Bruce Lee's spirit. She established a foundation dedicated to promoting Bruce Lee's martial arts concepts and Jeet Kune Do spirit. At the same time, she also actively participated in the production and supervision of Bruce Lee's related film and television works to ensure that her father's image and spirit are accurately and positively presented. 4. Facing Challenges and Doubts as descendants of Bruce Lee, Shannon Lee and Brandon Lee inevitably have to face various challenges and doubts from the outside world. Whether it is speculation and discussion about the cause of Bruce Lee's death, or doubts and criticisms about their own abilities and achievements, they have put them under tremendous pressure. However, Shannon Lee was not defeated by these challenges and doubts. On the contrary, she faced everything with a more determined belief and a harder attitude. She is well aware of her responsibilities and missions, and she also knows that only through continuous efforts and struggles can she achieve her goals. When facing the media and the public, Shannon Lee always remains calm and rational. She responds to those doubts and criticisms with her actions and achievements, and also uses her sincerity and enthusiasm to infect more people. She believes that only through her own efforts and dedication can more people understand and recognize Bruce Lee's spirit and values. 5. Condemnation and Transcendence of Spirit Although Bruce Lee has passed away for a long time, his spirit and influence will live forever. As his descendant, Shannon Lee not only inherited her father's martial arts talent and performance talent, but more importantly, 
she inherited her father's indomitable and challenging spirit. In the process of inheriting and carrying forward Bruce Lee's spirit, Shannon Lee also faced various challenges and difficulties. But she always believed that as long as she had firm beliefs and kept moving forward, she would be able to overcome all difficulties and achieve her goals. Today, Shannon Lee has become the spiritual pillar and spokesperson of the Bruce Lee family, and her efforts and contributions have been recognized and praised by more and more people. We believe that in the days to come, she will continue to continue and surpass her father's spirit in her own way and achieve a more brilliant future. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,